Hey Facebook, <laughs> um, it's no makeup tip Monday because I just have foundation and mascara on today. We have discussed a lot of cool stuff in the past four weeks. I thought I would just touch on a really quick health topic and that is how I kicked Coke Zero. Um, just to review with you guys, so all those of you are still jumping on, last week we talked about how to do an ombre look. Um, we went over how to create a custom palette I did a new updated brow video three weeks ago and then I did talk about how to care for and use your beauty blender properly. So for the last four weeks we've talked about beauty topics. If you ever miss a um, Makeup Tip Monday you can always go back to YouTube and watch it, watch the replay that way. But I thought I'd just give you a quick idea of um, how I kicked Coke Zero and I thought I'd just tell you a little story. I went this week and wrote my blog post first before I did the video, which is usually the opposite. So um, I tried Coke Zero about seven years ago for the first time. Guys, I have never drank coffee until I was about 35, and caffeine just wasn't something that was a hang up for me. But I read the book Body for Life. I don't know if any of you have ever read that book. It was a great program. Um, I still have the book. I have that one and South Beach Diet. Loved both of those programs. Very similar because it's high protein, low carb, eating good carbs, not bad carbs. So because I was tracking my calories on my phone, which I still do, and when I get off track, I always recommend go back to tracking calories because it's really science, calories in, calories out. So I was tracking calories on my phone and what I was finding is that Cook Zero satisfied that need for something sweet for me. And so I was like all about the zero calories. <laughs> I loved the sweetness, I loved the caffeine high, of course, with Coke Zero, but I'll tell you what my big hang up with, um, or my big attraction to Coke Zero and reason that I kept going back to it was that I love carbonation. I love what they, you call the burn, as the burn is coming down your throat, that cold, right straight out of the can. My, do my sister and I have always called it the burn. We just love the burn. <laughs> like there's nothing like it, like a real, glass of Coke or Dr. Pepper right out of the can. Um, but then about three years ago, and some of you have seen me post about this, I started having stomach problems, digestive issues with regards to the Coke Zero. Every time that I would drink one, my stomach would bloat out sort of like a small pregnancy. Uh, I would have sharp stabbing pains, it would ache, I would have terrible gas, just bloating, it was horrible. And I would complain every single time and every single time I keep going back to it. And even Stafford would comment like, you know, I know you're not gonna be able to stop. And I'm like, you're right, because the pain was so bad. But then like two days later, I'd be like, oh, I have to have a Coke Zero. Or yours might be Diet Coke, I don't know. But um, so I, that led me to do some research. I did put some stuff out there and some of you commented, you know, that aspartame and the, the false sugars are poison, which is what I found through my research that aspartame is terrible for, for you. Um, it's almost like this debate, okay, do you drink real Coke or do you drink Diet Coke? It's like you get all the sugar in the real Coke and then you get the aspartame and the poison that your body can't even digest in the, di in the Diet Cokes. And so everything I read agreed that it's terrible for your digestive system, it's terrible for your stomach, it's not good for your brain. Um, the more you drink Diet Coke, it actually makes your brain think that you're drinking sugar, even though you're not, because it's a false sugar, it's an alternative sugar and you actually will crave more sugar, which I did find that that was the case for me. I was craving more sugar the more Coke Zero that I, that I drank, which leads to weight gain. So they're actually showing that people who drink diet sodas gain weight too, just as, you know, not as much as the real sodas, but they do as well. But I also found that lots of people have the same issue that I have, which is the digestive issues with regards to the diet sodas. And so um, I tried to get off of it. It was very difficult for me. I tried all different companies and products. Um, I guess about two years ago, I did talk about the pink drink. I was drinking the pink drink from Plexus. I tried all the different energy drinks and nothing really stuck with me for very long. And it was because nothing had the fizz. I needed that burn, that carbonation. Um, as a replacement for Coke Zero because I need something that has a little bit of a taste to it. I do drink a ton of water. I drink water all day long, but I was needing that one, you know, you just sometimes have to have a flavored drink <laughs> when you're eating something. And so um, I would tell myself, Lisa, this is poison. Don't drink it. But that didn't seem to work because I reached for it a few days later and just bear the pain that I had in my stomach. 
Well, last year, y'all will remember, I did the detox program through Arbonne, which is called the 30 Days to Healthy Living. I went through the program for 30 days and with it comes two boxes of these. I know, that helps too. We'll talk about that in a second, but it came with two boxes of the, these fizz sticks and it was a slow love affair, about a week, because anything that you try that's different, you kind of have to adopt the taste of it. You're like, okay, let's see how I like these. So about a week later, I was like, oh my gosh, I can't function without these. Now I, I wasn't craving the Coke Zero anymore in the afternoon, especially around three o'clock in the afternoon when I want sugar, when I'm picking up the kids, when I'm spending time in the pickup line, I was reaching for a fizzy. And the reason that I ended up absolutely falling head over heels for these is because they were carbonated. Or they're not even carbonated. It was like that fizz, that burn that I needed to go down. Now, from what Anna mentioned, I have tried the soda waters and the seltzer waters and Perrier and all of the flavored stuff. It either, one, had the false sugars in it or two, didn't have enough flavor. And I needed the flavor and the fizz. And so I never really liked anything. I can't stand Perrier, it tastes terrible to me. I'd rather drink regular water than that. So anyways, the fizz sticks satisfied that. They came with the program. I ended up falling in love and was able to kick the habit. My favorite thing about them though is that you're able to put them in your purse, your console, um, the diaper bag, they're so little, they fit in even my little wallet. So if I'm eating out, I can pull one out of my wallet and just pour one into a cold glass of water with ice. And I've got that fix, that thing that I need, which is a little bit of flavor and the burn that goes down. It tastes like an orange soda. Sometimes I'll go through the Chick-fil-A drive through get a tall glass of water with the crushed ice and I'll pour one of these in there and it's like the most satisfying thing ever. Those of you who have an addiction to Coke Zero know what I'm talking about. Um, this doesn't hurt my stomach at all. These contain just two grams of natural sugar derived from stevia, the stevia plant, 13 total calories per tall eight ounce glass. They have green tea and natural sources of caffeine, vitamin B, no artificial sugars, and no fructose corn syrup. They have two flavors. They have an orange and a pomegranate. I love both. They have come out with other flavors. I've not liked anything as much as I've liked the orange because it tastes like an orange soda to me and the pomegranate, which I love as well. Now, these can be purchased aside from the program. I did the Fizz Sticks and got hooked on the Fizz Sticks as a part of the 30 Days to Healthy Living program, which we did a video on probably a year ago because I enjoyed the program so much. I had a nutritionist come on and talk about the program. You can get these aside from the program. They do not, you don't have to purchase them with within the program. So I have linked in the description to the video on Facebook for those of you on Facebook so you can go through. The cost is $44 per box. That's 30 drinks. That's $1.40 basically a drink. So instead of running into the gas station and getting a monster, which is $2.250, you can just pour one in. And even Stafford started using these and traveling with these because he was finding that he's using so much uh, money at the gas stations because he travels so much and he was popping in here, popping in there, monster here, five hour energy there, and they were just as, if not more expensive than these, so he has started carrying them with him. Um, guys, I have put in the description, but I'm gonna tell you, as a preferred customer with me, you pay $30 for the year, and that gets you 20% off all individual products and 40% off sets. So if you are interested in getting these individually, you would get 20% off of them if you register as my preferred customer. Or, or you can do the healthy day, um, the 30 day healthy living program with me. I'm starting again on the 18th, which is a full week from now. We start on Monday the 18th. We've got a big group of girls doing it in our health program, which is my group on Facebook. And you get 40% off the whole set. Now the whole set comes with two bags of protein, cleanse, two boxes of fizz sticks, fiber, detox tea, which now Stafford's stealing from me as well which is funny because my husband is a supplement snob and now he's starting using it and I'm just kind of sitting back quietly and letting him do it. Um, so you get the whole set at 40% off if you want to do the whole program with me. Um, at 40% off, I believe it's 266 and you get all of that. It lasts way longer than 30 days. They say it's 30 days. Guys, I have had mine for three months at least. 
Um, so that's a great option too. You can get it individually, the Fizz Sticks, just to try out, or you can do the Healthy Day program with me that starts on the 18th for 266, you get it all. Um, and for those of you who didn't hear my announcement last week, half of all of my retail profits for the entire month of February are going to a women's pregnancy center, which is a crisis pregnancy center in Tallahassee that serves women who find themselves pregnant and in crisis with financial help, adoption referral, um, housing, um, medical needs, uh, counseling, post-abortive counseling, counseling for men. They also have a belly boutique where they give them all the things that they need, including clothing, high chairs, bouncers, all that sort of stuff. So half of all of my retail profits will be going straight to the Women's Pregnancy Center this week. If you're interested in purchasing the Fizz Sticks, either individually or as part of the program and going through the Healthy Day program with me, you just go to shopimagebylisa.com. That's www.shopimagebylisa.com. You go to the top of the screen and you just click register and you register as my client or my customer. If you're interested in doing it as a consultant, you can do it as a consultant too. It's a great way to save on personal use products. That's what I did when I joined was just so that I could get my products at 50% because you get your sets at 50% and your individual products at 35% as a consultant. So that was a great um, opportunity as well. I'll tell you as we end that the last thing I want to mention to you, if you are interested in doing the 30 day program with me is that the, one of the things that impressed me about the program is that all the systems are there. The recipes are there. You have a Trader Joe's shopping list you can print and go straight to Trader Joe's and buy everything. You have all the products and the supplements that are there. The support systems are there and the back office is there. That's something that I am very particular about because I may not have always had that in the, in the past. So when I walked through it the first time, I was like, oh, well, this is cool. Okay, you just check off the list. There's a guide that comes with it. You're not going to Go into this completely blind, so you're going to have everything you need. Highly, highly recommend the program. Um, but anyway, what have you done to kick your Coke Zero or Diet Coke addiction? would love to hear from you guys what your favorite drinks are. I've tried a ton. I'm telling y'all, this is the one that's worked for me. Next week is National Lash Day. I was supposed to do it this week, but it's next week because I got my dates wrong. National Lash Day is coming up next week, so I'll see you on Makeup Tip Monday again next week. For those of you on Instagram, you can check the description on Facebook, or you can click straight through to the blog by clicking the link in my bio on Instagram. For those of you on Facebook, just look at the description, and I will see you guys again next week. We're going to Disney World this weekend, so we'll be gone. 44 is turning three. Can you guys believe that? Oh, 44 is just now starting to talk, and he's getting potty trained, and we're going to see Mickey Mouse. So, I will see you guys next Monday. Bye, guys.